Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of CMG Acads. In this episode, we will be covering Blender settings, the folder structure that you should have, add-ons, importing your world into Blender, and some basic scene setup. Anyways, if you haven't already, open up Blender. If you've already messed around with some things, you can go over here to File, New, click on General. And it'll take you to where you should be where you're starting out. If this doesn't happen for you, please leave it down in the comments below and we'll get back to them as soon as we can. Or for faster response, you can also join our Discord server for CMG Acads and ask one of us there. Anyways, after you exit the splash screen, of course, this isn't going to be how to learn Blender again, don't worry. I already did that in the first episode. This is just going to be about setting up, you know, the scene, some settings that you need to keep in mind, and that sort of thing. Anyways, we're going to start off with Blender settings. If you want to set, if you just want the settings and you don't want to hear me talking about um, what settings you should have, I have all the settings into a, into a Blender file that you can just open up and then save. You can save as your startup files. So the first thing that you want to do is over here in the Properties tab, you want to click this little icon, which looks like, I don't know, like a TV station or something. Click that. Or it's its render engine. Click that and set this, and set that to cycles. That's the very first thing you want to do. Second thing is if you have GPU, you you need to go to Edit Preferences. Let me drag th this over here, and then you need to go down to I believe System, and then over here Cycles Render Devices. From if you have if you have a a GPU, one of these should come up, or both. I don't know. <laughs> Um, preferably, uh, have CUDA. So if, if CUDA shows up, click that. You have optics, click that. Anyways, I have CUDA, so I'll click that. And then always click your, your graphics card. For me, it's a GeForce GTX, uh, 1650. And once you have that, click down here, save preferences. Not that. <laughs> save preferences. There you go. And then now you will, um be able to use your GPU when with cycles. Why do you on GPU? Well, cycles renders, it, it goes for details. So your GPU will basically um, like send out the information better and faster. If that makes any sense. I'm not really that expert at GPUs, So I don't know, but I do know that you definitely do want to be using a GPU instead of a CPU. So from here, device switch that to GPU compute. Once you have that, um, you want to go down here to sampling and render, you can set that to like 30 or something. Viewport can be also 30, I guess. From there, you don't need to do anything else. Light paths is all fine. However, you might want to turn up the transparency into 20 or something. And then under performance, tiles, if you're using a CPU, keep it at 64. If, you, if you're using a GPU, set that to 200. And 56 and you always for both of for CPU and GPU keep it at center here once you have that uh, you then want to go to this tab I believe you can keep these at the same but over here in frame rates that's basically your FPS so frames per second that's your speed of your animation so basically how many so basically how many images it displays in one second the higher the smoother However, it can be a little bit harder to animate, and also it'll be a lot longer to render. The lower it'll look more choppy, etc, etc. Most people use 30, however, use what you like, but most people use 30, and that's also what I use. So that should be all for this, for these two tabs. Then over here, you want to enable mist, vector, and denoising. And then that should be it. And then over here, uh, let's see, miss pass here. Uh, instead of five, take that to something like uh, 30. 30. And then that should be all for this. All of these other tabs have nothing to do with the scene itself, so don't worry about that. The rest, this should be it. However, you do want to customize this a little bit better. I customize it how... I personally want, but you, you should customize it to whatever you 
you like it. So basically, <laughs> uh, that I know that that doesn't make much sense, but um, you want to like have like something like comfortable for you. So for me, I like to have a timeline pretty high up. So I'll have it something like this, so I can you know see the timeline better. And then when I'm animating, I put usually just push this aside, and so I can have more space to work with. However, there's already um, like the raw fish mentioned, there are these tabs here which you can click. For example, let's say we want we want to do some animation, right? We click animation here, and it'll take us to this. I don't really use this, so I would take this out, and then I would lower this because it's a little bit too high for me. Lower it down, and then since I don't, since I'm animating, I don't need this panel really, so I completely push that to the side. I still leave it there just in case if I do need it. But most of the time, I don't need it, so I just push it over to the side. And then another thing that you want to do is, if you press N over here, view, uh, focal length, change that to 25 or something. So basically, you can see everything much better. If, if you have a wide monitor, set that to 25 or something. However, if you have, like let's say, like a laptop or something, you want you probably want to keep that something like at 40. So basically, like like the smaller your screen is, the higher you want this to be. the The bigger it is, the smaller. Of course, don't go don't go too small, like less than like fifty, I think. I mean, uh, fifteen, because then it just looks like all weird like this. I, I, you you don't. I'm pretty sure you don't guys. You guys don't want this. So, yeah, set it to something like twenty five, and that'll be all good. And one of the most important things I can say before you do any animation or anything, you want to go here in the timeline, or if, or if you're still in layout here, um, over here in playback, click that. We're, we're actually wait, yeah, over here where it says audio. Please, please change that to AV sync. That is the number one. Like biggest thing that you can do for animation, it makes it, it lets you it lets you animate in real time, so you know exactly like what's happening and how it's gonna look in the final thing. Because if you set it to no sync, your computer will will try to get out every single frame of the animation, and your animation you can't actually like animate it or scene that well. Both AV sync, your computer will just focus on showing this just showing the frames accurately so a av sync is definitely like the number one way that you want to go 99 percent of the time i've never i've never gone back and honestly it's i people rarely talk about it and it makes me so disappointed but av sync is the number is very crucial to this anyways once you have that you want to save it as your startup file so file defaults save startup file once you have that you will be able to when, once you have that you can whenever you open up a new blender file like general a new general blender file um you'll have all of your settings saved like this of course you can do more stuff like i don't know like zoom out or delete the default cube which is what i already have done in my in the default scene i've created i also delete the lights there's a lot of stuff of additional stuff that um, you can do, but I didn't I didn't do much here because I already did one, and also it really comes down to personal preference on what you want. But um, if you guys do want what I did over here, um, that is that the download to this will be in the description. All you need to do once you download that is to go down to File, Defaults, Save Startup File, and it'll save it. Just like it is for you here. Anyways, now that we have that, we can close Blender or hide it, I guess. Whatever you want to do. Now, we're going to be talking about folder structure. Folder structure, you need to keep organized when making animations or anything. Basically, like, when you're doing anything, you need to keep organized. You don't want stuff to be scrambled all around the place. Now, if I knew, like, the importance of how this was, I would... I would be so happy. I'd be it'd be great. It'd be great times for me right now, but unfortunately not. However, I'll walk you through the folder structure that you should have. I already made one, and that will be down in the description also with the blend file. But if you don't want to download anything for the folder structure, you can just 
right click on your desktop click new folder and I want you to name it blender once you name it blender open it up and here we are and here I want you to create three folders add-ons MC animations and skies add-ons over time you will find add-ons which you would really like and that you want to get so I suggest putting them all in here so you can easily know what add-ons you have from outside of blender and also when you switch to a new blender version you can easily get back all of your add-ons and all of that so I suggest doing that MC animations now you want to be doing MC you want to be doing Minecraft animations right however as time goes on you might also want to, you also might be interested in other things like I now I am I'm not just like focused like, solely on Minecraft animations so that's why you want to have like its own folder inside of you know blender here skies um is for all of your you know all of your skies that you have for like hris which will be explained later for add-ons there are two add-ons that you will need to download uh those two being here mc prep and lazy felina made by um sending pad one of the teachers here at cmg acads first um the the links to the to these websites will be down below but first let's download mc prep which is which is probably the most is like the crucial thing that you need is which is like probably the most important thing that you would probably need for minecraft animations also so once you go down here scroll down a little bit and then click on download mc prep and it will start downloading then go over to lazy felina which will also be in the description and then go down to code and then download zip and once you get these do not unzip them I repeat, do not zip them. If you unzip them, you can un you cannot zip them if you want to, but make sure that the zip is still there because Blender only reads pi files and .zip files. So folders themselves, Blender does not read for add-ons. Anyways, we're going to hide that for now, and then we're going to want to copy. You want to find your um, you want to open up your add-ons folder in there, and then go to I'm gonna go to my other screen, and you want to drag in the the two add-ons that we installed or that we downloaded into the add-ons folder here and then over back in blender here you want to go to edit preferences and over here in add-ons install here and then over in i believe desktop yep here you have uh blender so go to wherever the blender the blender folder that you made is add-ons and then uh install both of them i actually i think we need to unzip the this one actually uh install so i click both of these separately so click mc prep yeah so click mc prep install that and then open then install again um lazy felina and as once you do that uh, you need to check, you need to check them. So for me, we just uh, installed MC Prep and MC Prep and Lazy Felina. So we'll check both of these. Then save references. There we go. And then we can hide Blender again, and then we can get on to the rest of the folder structure. Like I said, the folder structure will be down in the description if you do want that along with the Blender scene. Now we want to go inside of MC Animations and we want to create. So let me see where I put it here. Yeah. We want to create a few folders inside of this also. <laughs> animations. Cycles. Faceless skins. And rigs. Animations is for all the animations that you will make. For example, mod drop, starlights, battleships, stuff inside of here. You'll go inside, create, let's say, let's make um, the name Cottage. Cottage, yes. Let's name our animation Cottage, right? And then, and so, and we'll like, everything with the animation will be inside of this one folder. Inside of animations, which is inside empty animations, which is inside of Blender. And then, it cycles. These are basically, those will be explained later in an animation, ep in the animation episode. But basically, those are like all of your like running or 
walking animations. Faces skins are basically, you know, like your Minecraft skin without eyes or like without without any facial features on them, which we'll be using, which will be put on rigs, so we can of course animate them. Rigs is for all the rigs that you will be downloading over your time here, um, on this side of the internet. Anyways, since we're making a Minecraft animation, um, let's go into animations. I already made a folder inside of here a few seconds ago called Cottage. So, uh, make a folder, uh, name it, name it whatever, name, name your animation, whatever you want it to be. Click on that, and now inside of this, we want to create even more folders. So let me, let me find what I put over here in the folder structure. We want to put in here animation tests. Oh, without, without an S. Animation tests. Music. Resources. Scenes. Worlds. Once we have that, um, basically I will explain all these again. Um, animation tests is, you know, for when you finally finish, you know, let's say like all of the animations layouts, right? And you put them all together into one video file. So you can click on here and see all of your progress over time of the animation that you've done. Music is for all the music that you, is for the music that you'll be using in the animation. Resources is for things, for example, like images that you want to put, like let's say you want to put like a, a real life ad for flex tape on a book or something. You want to download like a flex tape image from the internet from something and then put it in here so so you can easily access it from your blender file and then over and then scenes is basically like all the scenes that you have in the animation for example what let's say like in the first scene you have your character walking over to the barber or something the next scene he's getting his 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 hair is being cut and the next scene he's going to eat chick-fil-a or something right and then worlds is like basically like where all the sets are for example like let's say um, you have a barber, you have a barber shop set, a cottage set, um, all of those places can be inside world or separate worlds, which you will be putting in here. Now that's, that's for a folder structure. If you don't feel like making all of that, the, um, the folder structure for this will be in the description down below for you to download. And if you just want to get straight to it. Anyways, now that we have that and our add-on installed into Blender, now we want to, anyways, now that we have that. We're gonna go back to Blender since we don't need any of this anymore. And there are two more add-ons that I want to talk to you guys about. And those being, let's see. These are built inside of Blender so you don't have to install anything. Uh, let me find them. These are called Node Wrangler. We shall be using for, for Node uses. And then collection manager these two are very good um add-ons collection manager lets you organize your collections which are basically like i don't know how to explain them but they help you like organize of course your collections better and other stuff node regular is used to help you create shaders for objects anyways now that you have that we will now go and install a program called mineways which we will be using to import our Minecraft worlds into Blender. Now, there's also one called J JMC to OBJ. You can also download that. I personally use Mineways. Uh, JMC to OBJ, basically, it helps reduce its world size and gives every block its own texture. Whereas with Mineways, it's the the size is a little bit bigger and all the all the textures are inside one single image. But really, there's no there's no really big difference between um, both of them, but most people do before JMC to OBJ, which I'll be covering in a side episode of CMJ CADs. Anyways, so we're here in Mineways. You wanna go to whichever one you are you are using, whichever. If you're using Windows, download for Windows. If you're using um, Mac, uh, go to, let's see, downloads, quick start, downloads, download for Mac. If you download for Mac, you can only use worlds that are from 1.12 or older. So you can't use any 1.13 worlds 
1.14.16, those worlds. With James C2 Beijing, yes, you can. So if you do want to use worlds, I guess if you're on Mac, then use James C2 Beijing, definitely. But since I'm on Windows, I will be using Windows. So click on it and it will start uh, downloading MindWays. And I already have it installed, so I can simply go over here to search, click on MindWiz, XE, and then um, after it loads up, uh, you'll be greeted with this little window over here. It's something from like the 80s, or not 80s, like 2000s or something, but something like Wilbur Soot style, I don't know. But here we are, and here we can open up um, any worlds that we want from our single player world files or from any worlds that we done from the internet. First, I'll be covering from like worlds from your single player file world. So you go to here to file, open world. Uh, you'll have all of these worlds. For example, like, let's click uh, Alex and Steve world, right? Here we are, this is this random world. I don't know what this is, but basically here it is. Um, you can, you're gonna get you can, these are, these should be like all of your worlds inside your single player. Um, I'm not completely sure if some, if some of them will show up or not, but, um, yeah. If you do want to open a world that is, if you want to open up a world that you download from the internet, go to file, open, then go to where the world is. So for me, we're we'll using the, the world from Starlight, which doesn't come out yet, but um, the world to this will be in will be in the description for you to download. This world we'll be using for uh, the tutorial se series. I can't say anything right. Make sure that the thing is unzipped. Click on it, and then you will be greeted with um. And this goes for like any any world. So unzip whatever world you have, and then you have all of these folders. Never mind any of them, but just click on level dot that, and it'll open up the world on Mindways. Here we go. So, uh, for here, we will be using this little cottage here, which is why I named the animation that we will be doing cottage. So, once we have this, uh, you can, okay, let me actually teach you how this works, okay? So, to move around, uh, you need to hold left click, and then, yeah, just hold left click, and then, yeah, you can, you can pan around, uh, right, and then in, in scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Don't zoom, don't, don't zoom too far out or else your computer will die. Uh, not actually blue screen, but it will lag a lot. So don't, don't zoom out too much. And then the, and then the right click you'll be using to select, um, the world. Let's say that we want to, um, put this mountain into Blender, right? So I'm going to go over here, um, right click, hold, and let's see, drag it over this mountain here. And then, uh, once you have this, if you have a pop-up screen that says something about, uh, like, the the bottom of the world, uh, click either yes or no. I don't think it really matters, just, um, it hasn't really matter for me, it just changes this, which is the, basically, like, the bottom of the world. So, I'll make sure that everything here is, like, highlighted in pink, and then go a little bit down. So, for me, I'll put it at that. And then make sure that this is always at the top, because you... Usually, always want it at the top, once for some for some specific reason unknown to me. Once you have that, uh, to export it, uh, actually you can you can make the world a little bit bigger by by going over here and then holding down right click and then can, and then dragging this way and then you can do it for any uh, any of the sides here. And I'll be doing that. Here you go. Okay. So once you have that, um, I would suggest I would suggest going down here to help. Give more export memory, just in case if it fails or something. Send, then go to file, export for rendering. Wait a while, and then go over to where you put uh, your Blender folder, MC, anima MC animations, animations. Go to the animation folder. In our case, it's called Cottage. Go down to Worlds, and then here. Uh, actually no, not world. Yeah, actually yeah, no. yeah, um, yeah. What we want to do? We need to go to scenes. We need to create our first scene. If you if you don't know what a scene is, just call it scene one, which is I do for like pretty much all the animations I do, 
at least that's what I used to. And then here in scene one, call it um cottage scene one. Instead of cottage, you put whatever whatever um your animation your animation's name is. So put that in, press save, and it will have pop up with this menu. Here we go. I want to keep all of these settings the same, basically. But with this one, uh, some, people, some people leave it off. Um, I personally don't really find a problem with it. Besides, when it's turned off, sometimes it'll um, bug with some blocks, and it really annoys me. So I usually always keep that on, unless if my, my PC is like really lagging. But that really doesn't affect much. So I usually just keep it like this, and then press OK. And it'll start exporting the world into an OBJ file. Now we need to wait until that happens. In the meanwhile, we can open up Blender again. Here we go. And I guess now we just need to wait until the, until the, here, until this loads, which you just did <laughs> conveniently. Okay. So now we can close out of Mindways by clicking the red X. I'm sure you guys already know how to do that, or else you would have clicked on this video. Now, the important step you need to do, okay, file, import, okay, don't go to, don't go to append or link, you want to go to import, okay, make sure that you're going to import, not append or link, import, and then over here, obj, and click on that, and then you want then to go to where you put in the world, so for us, it's in desktop, go over to, I believe I put it in here, by reference, MC animations, animations, cottage, uh, scenes. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna be using this folder since I already have it all here. I'm just gonna delete the the one that I made in the background, and we're gonna open up the one that we made here. Okay. Once you get to here, you'll be greeted with these two files here. We want to click the one that has a cube on it, and this is the size it has. Pretty average size, I would say. So, so any, anywhere like around like fifty, no, like anywhere like around like four to um, eighty um, amounts of MIB is is um is normal. We just need to click click um import OBJ and wait a while. You will your cursor will turn black and then. Um, yeah, some, you need to wait a while, um, that's normal, don't worry, we just need to wait, so, enjoy this little time lapse. Here we are, um, already you can tell that something's wrong with the blocks here, um, yeah, they're blurry, that's because we haven't prepped it yet, which is where MC prep comes in handy. So first thing, we need to get actually get out of here. Um, so, so yeah, so scroll out and then you'll be, you, you should see your, thing that you just imported. And now with this selected, make sure that's selected and then press N over here in MC prep. Uh, you should see something called MC prep if you didn't install it correctly. If you installed MC prep correctly, this should come up, click on that. And then since we use Mindways, you'll click on Mindways and prep materials usually want usually you want to leave this at zeus so we'll leave at zeus here and press okay it'll take a while to prep everything but once it does um it should be much better with everything yep here we go and here we are we have our little scene here with everything here we are with our scene. We can we can press N to hide this again, and um, right now we don't need the timeline, so we can get rid of it for now by going down over here uh, until this little cursor comes up here. This with for for like like across, and then hold down your your left click, and then go a little bit down, and then until this happens, and then let go, and your time and your timeline will disappear. And here we are. Um, we have our scene over here. I have my FOV. Yeah, you can change your FOV, which uh, which is what I'm gonna do right now. So I can see everything a little bit better. 
and to get, our, to get our camera here we can simply where we are where we want our camera to be you can click we can press down on our on our keyboard control alt zero numpad zero and here we are with everything and um also one thing once you have the camera selected have this for you it'll be like a hundred or something but have this set to like on like something high it really doesn't affect your your computer um at least it hasn't affected me even when i had my old macbook but it really i guess it really just depends i don't know but you do want to set this really high because it's how it's going to look in the final animation if we have like over here and we have a hundred we can't see anything beyond that but if we increase it we can see the rest of the world here so have it, have it set to something high i don't know about you but that looks pretty high to me and yeah, here we are, and also have this set to like 25 or something, you know? Something um, reasonable for an animation. Once you have this, we can click, we can do the shortcut of Control S, and then bring over this window, and then go over to Blender, MC Animations, Animations, Cottage, um, Scenes, Scene 1. Now here, but um, what? you want to do is name this to your MC animation name and then and then put in scene one or whatever you want to call the scene after this you want to type in uh scene scene um no like uh layout yeah we'll name it layout here we'll name it layout and then um, over time, we will be like renaming, like we'll making new files, but like renaming it. So once we go into animating stage, we'll rename it from uh, cottage stage one scene one layout to cottage scene one animation, and so forth. But like there'll be new files. So let's say like, we like accidentally lose a file or something, uh, we all of our progress for that one scene won't be lost. So, yeah. Now we will get to, of course, um, doing all of this. Actually, I just realized. Also, I just, I just realized that, uh, you guys, it won't be like this for you. Okay, so over here, uh, it'll be over here for you, right? You want to like, click instead of. Instead of um, this, you want to click this little material thing, and all the materials, all the materials will now show up. Okay, I'm sorry that I, did. I completely forgot that I didn't, that I I forgot I forgot to tell you guys that. But um, I, how I was over here, you can do that by. Also, I just I just remembered, um, you it will for you it'll be all gray like this. Yeah, it'll be all gray for you like this. Really bad, but. We can fix that by going over here, clicking the little drop down, and then from material, click texture, and all of this will come up. So, sorry I, I didn't tell you guys before, I completely forgot. Or if you have a better, if you have a really strong PC, you can also click here. Basically, it'll like, um, um, do even better materials, I guess. Anyways, now that we have that, um, we can... Like everything is like pretty much set up where we want it to be. However, there are some things that we still need to do. So first thing is to go over here to top right, click and drag. And over here, click on this. I have your cursor on here, press S, it'll take us to the shader editor. Press N. And then we can click on this. And then we can press tab. And now if we're here in tab, we're in edit mode, which is a mode, a really, um, a mode to, like, you know, edit your, your stuff. We're going to go to face mode and it's like select, um, any transparent blocks, for example, uh, leaves, right? Like select leaves, uh, press edit again, um, press tab, sorry. And then go over here to properties channel and then click on material on the material icon here have this it should be for me it's oak leaves for you it'll, it might be vines um cobwebs 
grass, any of that stuff. And for us here, um, you want to put you. Um, we don't. We want to add a. Oh God. No. Nah, she cut that out. Cut that out. Ubu. Anyways, that um is pretty much all that we have here. Um, there are some things that you will need. Anyways, that is all. Anyways, that is all that we have here. Um, one little thing is to over here in the outliner, right click, new collection, and you want to organize this to how it should be. So inside of here, I will name this map, and here will be like everything inside of it. So um, the map here, we'll put inside of there, and then I usually delete that because the camera really doesn't go into anything. I'll create an another one. I call it cars, which is sort, which is, which is, which is, which is, which is shorts for characters. Another one called lighting. And if your collections stack up like this, you can click, you can click and hold and, and move it out of here. And that is all that you really have to do for right now. Um, I think that's all for um, this episode um of well the episode <laughs> and we'll get to and side episodes for example like the jmc J to a jmc to a Jing, and um like like doing like little edits to the materials to make make them look a little bit better um will be in and episodes and Side episodes, for example, like James C, or making like the materials a little bit better, will be discussed in later episodes. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Anyways, I hope that clears some stuff, guys. I hope that clears some stuff up for you. If you still have questions, I would recommend joining. This, I would recommend joining the CMG Cads Discord server, which will be down in the description for you to join and join the community there talk with us there um get to meet new people and stuff and i'll see you guys next time happy blending